So, yesterday was Lake Berryessa, and the one mile Lake Berryessa swim was my second attempt. And I made it to the second buoy, which is just about halfway, almost halfway. I was battling those waves. There were some wakeboarders and water sports people with boats pretty about 500 yards away. So the first portion, I thought this is great. I can do this. This is fine. I'm riding. I'm doing really well riding the waves and swimming through the lake. But then the, the wake from those boats hit me a few times and I took on a lot of water and I was coughing up a lot of water and struggling and just trying to push through because it's all a struggle. I know this. And I think my mindset got to me. I thought I'm going to, I'm going to die. I'm going to drown here. These waves are, I can't handle these waves. They're taking me over. They were hitting pretty hard. I had a great friend kayaking next to me and she kept telling me, keep going. You're good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Nothing is impossible, you know, and, and she was great encouragement, but I, I felt taken over. I felt defeated. So I quit at the second buoy. There are three buoys to get through and then a long stretch back to the finish line. So I, uh, gave in when I thought that I was defeated. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. And that's okay. It was a learning experience. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the swim. I enjoyed getting out there. And I'm really glad that I tried it. And I might try it again someday uh, after I've had a lot of lake practice. I will practice more in the lake. I now have a friend who wants to take me to the lake more often get me in her kayak and such. So we will see, you never know in the future. It's, um, but it was definitely, it was definitely defeated <laughs> feeling. And um, I was not ready for it uh, mentally, but um, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I should get out of this water before it kills me. We will see next year, and we will see the year after that, and the year after that. I don't know if I'll do next year. I might need to wait and see in about two years. And failure is only a lesson. And I feel like I succeeded because that's a good stretch for me, for that open water. So it was nice. I liked it. Plus, I got this cool new lanyard, which I've been needing from my keys in the van and this phenomenal monstrous coffee mug so pretty, pretty excited about that and the fact that I got out there just the whole experience is awesome to be there with that many other swimmers who are just the most amazing people in the world and dedicated and they age you know from teens to 80s so it's really incredible to see such a variety of people out just all there for the same reason go swim my ass off and see how I do so I think that is the coolest thing in the entire world and if you don't belong to a sport or do anything to get out with other people and have some fun I suggest you do because it's, a, it's the best part of life Go get him. <laughs>
that's my Lake Berryessa story. Thanks for following and supporting. <laughs>